I just don't know what to do, Joshua. He never seems happy. This statement by my friend grabbed my attention and I remember sitting up straighter in my chair. Now, my friend is a few years older than me and financially speaking, more successful in every worldly way. So more income, more cars, bigger house, more toys. We were enjoying lunch at a beautiful restaurant here in downtown Phoenix and we started talking about marriage and parenting. And at some point, our conversation turned to his elementary-aged son. And this is when my friend's face began showing visible frustration. He said, I just don't understand what's going on. My son has a whole drawer full of video games, a bedroom full of action figures, a whole room in our house that's dedicated to toys, but he never seems happy he keeps constantly telling me that he's bored. His attention began to shift, as is often the case when we think about parenting, and he started thinking about his own childhood growing up. And he said, when I was young, my family didn't have anything. I mean, Joshua, we were like super poor. I only had three toys to play with, and I shared them with my three brothers. But we made do with what we had, and we had a lot of fun. I don't ever remember begging my parents constantly to buy me more and more stuff. Well, I'd spent years thinking about this topic, and I'd even written about it in my book, Clutter Free with Kids. And so I thought maybe I would have some helpful advice. And so I said, maybe your son is discontent because he has too many toys. Think about it this way. When you were young, you only had three toys. But more importantly, you knew that that wasn't going to change. You had three and that's it. And so you were forced to make do with what you had and to find happiness in it. That was your only choice. But your son, on the other hand, is in a completely different circumstance. Whenever he wants something new, whether it be from a commercial or because his friend happens to get it, he just asks you for it and then you go buy it. You allow him to keep looking for happiness in the next toy, the next game, the next thing you buy. And this is a temptation that everyone with financial means can fall into. If your son was required to find happiness in the toys that he already has, he just might find it. But for now, he's able to live under the impression that the next toy will bring it to him. I like to think that what I was saying was resonating with my friend. Because our decisions can contribute greatly to the unhealthy relationship that our kids have with possessions. This is the danger of turning our home into a toy store. And this is a reminder that all of us as parents need, that our kids need boundaries. If we don't give them a sense of how much is too much, they'll just keep wanting more and more and more. And obviously, we all want to spare our kids the discontent that comes from having too much stuff. So start early to teach them that less is more. It's actually one of the best things you can do to show your love.